Hey guys, it's basically three hundred three with a continuation of the reaction video, and I just woke up. I just woke up. I'm stuttering because it's actually ten ten right now, and I overslept. And Square Enix is actually coming on right now. Holy shit! We need to fucking finish this right now. I just woke up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't start this off properly, but uh, at least I didn't miss too much. I hope I only missed like the first ten minutes of the show. I think the first thing I saw was like another Rise of the Tomb Raider thing. For this, you must survive. Something completely new. Bright luminary. Let the light shine on the world again. Here's something in the background. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I could sworn I heard some, like, directors talking in the background or something. That's weird. It might be just me, although, how the hell do I get rid of this thing? Oh, there's an X. I'm clicking the X, nothing's happening. There's no... The fuck? Can I get rid of this? GameSpot, what the shit? Is this not live? There we go, it's... Uh... Alright, fuck it, I'm looking at a different... Why? Because GameSpot is doing some bullshit. Sorry, I I'm not interested too much in the Dragon Quest, so I'm sorry if um, anyone's excited for me doing that. Though I did the only Dragon Quest game I played was um, Builders. I like that, but I think it's mostly because it was like a different genre. But yeah, I'm not sure if Dragon Quest is like the same thing as Final Fantasy, or takes place in a different universe, or a continuation story, or anything. I would like to get into it, I just don't know if I need to play like the first game and then continue onward to the next predecessor games continuing on. That's the thing I don't know if I really need to worry about or not. Yeah, the way they're pacing this kind of feels like a Nintendo Direct in a way because they're showing nothing but games, which is good. Although, if it's something like Bethesda where there's like Bethesda land and they show nothing but games and they actually do have a live stage, for no apparent reason, then I'm gonna have to dock points. I didn't see what happened in the beginning, so I really don't know, so... I guess seeing the end of the conference would tell me something. <laughs> but for now, I, I think the way they're pacing this is very nice. It, it's nicely done. They're showing game after game after game. There's no bullshit corporate conference or whatever, and... There may be some repeats for certain games, but they're not the exact same, which I think that's a good thing. Overall, it's a lot better than the previous press conference, that's for damn sure. Okay. Is this like their take on Dark Souls or developed by Platinum Games? That is already a good seller. Platinum Games is a very, very, very good developer, and I am glad that they're developing this game. I might want to check it out. 2019 for PS4 and Steam. I just noticed all the games are like only on PS4 and Steam. There's like one that's on the Xbox One, but other than that, it's like nothing but PS4 and Steam so far, so... Okay, this definitely sounds like Nier. Is this a definitive edition that we've heard about on the Xbox One press conference? Coming to Xbox, okay. This is kind of a news we already know, though. And the way they're showing it, it seems like it's just another repeat. Like reminding us, hey, this is coming to the Xbox as well. Buy it again. <laughs> Even if you already own the copy, just buy it again. If they say that this is also coming to the Switch, that would be also pretty sweet as well. That would be new, but um. Yeah, this is something we already know. Um, is this Octopath Traveler? If it is, then. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to this game. I played the demo, and I love... Well, I, I love one of the stories, at least. I think it was the one with the dancer. There was two di there was two different st stories. One with the knight, one with the dancer. I absolutely love the story for the dancer. The knight was okay-ish for me, though. I, I didn't really feel too much of an attachment, though. But because of the dancer story, I feel I really need to finish this game. Or really need to play this game, just to find out. I might want to do a Let's Play of it, too. July 13th. That's very soon. I'm definitely getting that. You said the same uh, background font as Nier, what the hell? <laughs> it's, like, it's fine to showcase the game in a previous press conference, as long as you showcase something new. 
That way you don't go bored saying like, oh, we already seen this before. But instead, you're going to be like, oh, we are getting to see more of it, which is good. So like, have it have it a little bit of a tease or a, uh, yeah, actually that's a good way. Uh, have it a little bit more of a teaser for the previous conference and then showcase it more on your own conference. I think that's what Bethesda and Ubisoft mostly done to make their conferences look good and make other conferences look good as well. Wait, is this it? Wait, that just looked- What?! Okay, that transition looked really good, holy shit, I- That legit looks straight up realistic. <laughs> coming- More to come in August. Okay, yeah, the background looks the same as like almost every other background they showcase. But yeah, holy shit, like- the transition from that and that in-game looked really good. That honestly looked realistic. I thought that was like actual actors and then that was- That was all CG or- Holy fuck. Oh yeah, there's also Kingdom Hearts too. I forgot they made- They had that. That's amazing. You can control ice. Control it. Wait, why is that amazing? You could do that too. It's hurt people. So sorry, so sorry, so Sora, sorry, that Sora, you could control ice too. Like, why does that make? Give me That's a weird thing to get excited over. I'm just saying. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Ran too. What? I just, why? I just got a whiplash off some Ran too. I just. Oh, okay. They're showing case a lot of Pixar. Get ready to hammer this song straight to your ears because it is fantastic. I legit do think that this is actually Yutada Hikaru's best song. Just the complexity and I think it's the way that the lyrics, I think is a very fitting end. At least I hope it's a good end to the Kingdom Hearts series because Jesus Christ, I don't think you need any more storylines and timelines and all that. Ugh. But yeah, Don't Think Twice is a very beautiful piece. I love it. It also helps that it's not like your usual 4x4 music piece as well. I think it's like... Like 6x8, I think? It sounds really complex. I heard a lot of... Uh, Twitter fans outraged by the fact that Aqua's like evil. <laughs> evil waifu. And you have to kill her or some shit, and everyone's like saddened or something. Aqua's a good character. She's also my waifu as well, in a way. Well, she's my only waifu in the Kingdom Hearts universe because all the girls suck in that. <laughs> all the girls are awful. Wait, is this the end already? It's only 20 minutes.